A pretty big proportion of the Premier League is in quite serious trouble this season, with so many teams trying to fight against relegation. But I think there is one major tool that will make the difference between the teams that are relegated and the teams that stay up and thrive next season and beyond. Give this video a watch to find out a little bit more. So picture this. 44 minutes into a match, you're 1-0 up, you've had the vast majority of the chances in the match, and the other team haven't really done much. All you have to do is clear a free kick, and you'll be fine. That isn't what happened this weekend with Leeds United, and we're going to have to look at mentality to find out why. Now, when most people talk about mentality in football, they'll go to the years of 4-4-2 and have some passion and all that jazz, but that isn't really the case. There's a reason that footballers like you sports psychologists on a daily basis they need to know how to improve themselves psychologically in order to get the results that they're after and that sort of fell apart for Leeds this weekend in several stages the first stage I think at the very least was a little bit of overconfidence now I want to be completely clear Leeds hadn't been defending very well on any of the set pieces neither had Leicester Sam Johnston had had to make a load of saves Leeds's post had been hit moments earlier it wasn't very good from either side. But I think being a goal up meant that Leeds United had the occasional error slip in and weren't paying attention. That meant that when there was a little bounce off a shoulder of a Palace player, Mark Gay was able to slip in behind and finish. A lot of people are blaming Ilan Melier for that, but it's one-on-one, -on -one. you've got to go for the ball. Now, the issue comes after overconfidence with how you managed to bounce back from that. It was right before half-time that Leeds conceded, and that overconfidence was definitely gone, for clear reasons. But I think the problem was that Leeds replaced that overconfidence with a little bit of uncertainty, and it's that uncertainty that led to the next goal. Now, Pascal Strouk tries to close Michael Elise down a little bit, but he doesn't commit. He doesn't go, I will block the cross, or I will tackle Michael Elise. He does neither, and that's the real problem. Elise has time to just deftly ping a cross in exactly where he wants to, onto Ayu's head. The second mistake here is with Luke Ayling who doesn't track Jordan Ayew, who's a little bit switched off. He doesn't tend to win a lot of aerial duels, Luke Ayling, which means that I imagine combined with the lack of confidence and uncertainty, he doesn't know whether he wants to go for it. By the time he's made a decision, the ball's in the back of the net, and it's 2-1. Now, you've been winning. You're losing within not too many minutes of halftime. What on earth do you do? I think Leeds got a little bit desperate from this point. It became a matter of flood players up the pitch to try and win the ball back high and then play on the transition. And that just didn't work out. Tyler Adams would have been really good for the side here because he tends to sit a little bit deeper with either Rocker or McKenney going up. So you've got one in, one going forwards, and you've always got someone protecting the back line. That didn't happen this week. Too many players got caught going up the field, which caused the third goal, which was, I think, Elise slipping in Eze behind. Who, who was just untracked. It wasn't great. Mark Rocker did not catch up with him. And then it was a four on two to cause the fourth goal, which was awful, to be honest. There wasn't enough at the back. The midfield wasn't helping the defence. The fullbacks were caught really high up the pitch. And yeah, it's all a lot of desperation that leads to mistakes, that leads to goals, which leads to a bit more desperation. It's a bit of a dangerous cycle. And finally, we get to goal number five, which was caused by... Another issue with mentality, loss of control. Leeds United had very clearly lost control of this match a while ago, to be honest, and it meant that a lot of players were either switching off or just not aware of what they were doing and weren't communicating with each other. The end product, Rasmus Christensen was a long way behind the rest of the defensive line, Jordan Ayew managed to stay on side, and it ended 5-1. Not good, probably something that Leeds United have to fix for the next match. So, how do you solve it? A lot of fans aren't happy right now because, let's be honest, it was an embarrassing loss. We haven't conceded five at Elland Road in quite a long time. But I think it's ultimately a lack of leadership. Liam Cooper not on the pitch, club captain. Luke Ayling on the pitch, made a significant mistake, vice captain, but it's his indecisiveness that caused the occasional issue. Max Fuber has massively improved the defence. He's made Junior Furbo good. But he's injured. Same for Tyler Adams. I think it's an issue where someone needs to properly grab the ball by the horns, help to lead the club into the end of the relegation battle, and make a difference to the mentality. The more consistent the club can stay, the better chance it's got of staying up, right? Thankfully, Leeds United are not currently in the bottom three. A lot of teams down there look 
fairly bad, so there's still a decent chance. A quick turnaround means that Leeds United could be fine. Elland Road could see Premier League football next season. Yes. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a fairly quick one. I didn't want to go into like a full-blown analysis of the match and tactics and stuff just because it would make me sad. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a look at mentality because I've been considering doing it for a while anyway, given Max Vuba's big improvement to the squad. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you like. It is hugely appreciated. Comment to let me know what you think. Like the video if you liked it. You're here at this point, so maybe you did. Anyway, thanks again. See you later.